Hello everyone, myself uh, Dr. Madhu MP. I am a consultant medical gastroenterologist here at uh, Astra Orvi Hospital, JP Nagar, Bangalore. So today I am here to talk to you about a condition called IBD. What is IBD? It is inflammatory bowel disease. So inflammation, the name itself says it's an inflammation in the intestine. So how do you identify them? When you do an endoscopic examination, either a sigmoidoscopy or a colonoscopy, you will find ulceration. So this is IBD. So people also get confused with another term that is called IBS. What is IBS? It is an irritable bowel syndrome. So the name itself suggests it's an irritable condition where uh, people will have altered bowel habits. But when you do an endoscopic examination, it will be normal. So it is irritable syndrome and usually it's a functional disorder. Whereas in IBD, it is an organic problem. So who are the people who gets affected with IBD? So the one of the most common problem which is seen usually in younger people, especially who are in second to third decade. So it is a huge burden. Initially, the Western uh, IBD was considered as a Western disease or a rich man's disease. But of late in last decade or so, we are seeing a lot of uh, people developing this IBD and the major burden is among the younger people. So uh, du during this IBD, how a patient presents to us, there are two conditions including in this IBD. One is called as ulcerative colitis which is mainly the disease confined to large intestine. So usually you will see ulcerations uh, in the intestine. So patient presents to us with increased frequency of stools. They'll have blood in stools and they'll have urgency and they'll have difficulty in controlling their bowel movement. If the disease progresses for a longer period of time, they'll present with low hemoglobin and anemia. And another condition which is combined in this IBD is Crohn's disease. So Crohn's disease is a condition which can involve anywhere from mouth to anus. So it's a disease burden will be more. So patient presents to us with multiple symptoms like they can present to us pain abdomen. If they involve uh, small intestine, the nutrients may not get absorbed. So they present to us with malnutrition. So if the colonic disease is there, they can present to us with altered bowel habits or blood in stools. This is how the disease presents to us. And how do we diagnose these conditions? We generally do a few basic blood tests and we do an endoscopic examination either a short length is called sigmoidoscopy or a full length examination of the large intestine is called colonoscopy. So during this examination, we usually found ulcerations. So if you found an ulcer, we usually take biopsies and the tissue diagnosis will be given by the pathologist. Once the disease is confirmed, we usually manage them with a lot of medications. So the medications commonly used in this IBD are uh, anti-inflammatory drugs. There are steroids. If the patient still doesn't respond, then we go on to add on other medications like uh, immunosuppressants like azathioprine, those kind of drugs. And there are a new lot of uh, drugs called biologics, which should mainly target the uh, pathophysiology of this uh, disease so that the disease can be brought under control. So what I would like to share today is we are coming up with IBD clinics at our RV hospital in JP Nagar, Bangalore shortly. So please do visit us for your any of your queries, concerns so that uh, we can address all of your uh, anxieties and uh, we can treat you better so that your quality of life can be improved. Thank you very much.